You're watching MTV Top 20 Video Countdown. We'll see you in concert. Be there! Have you ever sustained serious injuries? Janie was laying on the floor and, and Joey came up and got on top of him and Janie had his mic right here. Use Joey squatted down and pinned something like his you know, stool. And Janie hit a high note. Very, Very high. high note. The worst pain 30. I ever felt in my life and I ran upstage and I pulled my pants down and there was blood everywhere and I went, oh my God, I'm never going to have kids. They rushed me to the hospital and it turned out it was okay and everything. I don't even have any scars. You want to check? No, I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> the nurse everything. kept saying, and, uh, you know, who bit you? Who bit you? Are you yeah, in a, they are you in a bondage they or They kept what? thinking it was like We're a... like, no, we just I happened on stage. She goes, this, this is, is a human fault. bite. And I said, it's not a human bite, I swear. Can I change uh, the subject very quickly her now? Her name was Jaws. So <laughs> greatest vocalist, indeed the greatest quasi-religious figure of the 20th century, can only be Don Ho. That's right, Tom, Don Ho. And when you think of Don Ho, what else do you think of? That's right, Hawaii. And when you think of Hawaii, there's no denying the Headbangers Ball escaped from the long cold winter with Cinderella Contest. One winner and a guest will be rocketed to the unspoiled tropical paradise of Hawaii. Tell them about it, Tom. Get a tan, meet the fan. And if you're lucky, sell personal items to the locals for 10 times what they're worth. Chris, do you wish that you were um, a bigger star than you are right now? Do I wish what? Uh, being who I am is like... Here, what? Hi, this is Ricky Rocket. And this is Brett Michaels of Poison. And we're just two rock and roll dudes and a loose party and move. Ow! on a tour bus after the show and we're you know like drinking pepsis and all of a sudden terry our road manager comes on and he goes get off the bus and we go oh my god and so we all stand up and we had these um uh ladies on the bus that we escorted out very promptly and then we see all these like cops and stuff and, and um paul cornelius john bon jovi's road manager freaking out and stuff and i'm yelling and i thought it was a big joke so i'm around i'm going i'm a commodity i'm a commodity <laughs> and he's going quit it man and it turns out this guy got shot hey we're kill and you got it the right to rock our metal works it, it, it could be argued that heavy metal is a, a rather simplistic model of exaggerated masculinity for a, the insecure pubescent male to adopt and assert. Is it really all about, I mean, a big willy? You know, we'd love to... And hey. if you don't have one, you've always got your extra socks sticking <laughs> on your pants. And the, the drugs are fantastic, Dr. <laughs> Tom. <laughs> I've really cleared that one. Our dollar bills for putting in the bank are up the nose. In the bank. Yeah. In the bank. 